I don't actually know how this is gonna work. If I, if I can use it this way or if I have to do it another way or if this is even possible. Welcome to my Halloween makeup tutorial. Um, yeah. I decided that this year I'm gonna be Piglet from, you know, Christopher Robin in the Hundred Acre Woods from Winnie the Pooh. So I'm very excited to do that. Let me just get this blob out of my face. A very professional looking little. Okay. So I'm going to first, where did it go? Why am I so bad at this? I was gonna prime my face, but I don't have it. One second. Okay, got it. So I like to use Hangover 3-in-1 spray to prime my face. <laughs> so I just like, mm. So I just spray that all over. And so you are aware, I did cleanse my whole face before this, just in case there was any uncertainty on that one. So I prime it and then I get this Smashbox photo finish primer. I have pretty much run out, so I like hack, I cut the top off and put it in a plastic bag so that I can use the rest of it. And I just like put that stuff on everything. Make some attractive faces, you know? So once that's on, I like to blob this all over. It's my Sephora got it on sale CC cream because I find that foundation is too heavy for me and it covers my freckles. So, you just wanna like put that on your face like that. So once I kind of get that on, I like to do my contour. Whoa. <laughs> so once I get that all over my face, I like to put on some contour. So I use a concealer for my highlight, sorta. Kat Von D. And for my other, I use a Anastasia Beverly. Okay, so then I just apply this on my under eye area like this. And as I said, my house has been extremely dry, so my face is extremely dry. Sort of like that for the highlight and this piglet has those big cute cheeks I'm gonna try and emphasize my cheeks with this bad boy <laughs> and then you just blend that This house is too dry. This house is too dry. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but when I am done sort of blending it all in, I like to set it with 
Makeup Forever in a translucent powder. And I just. the worst feeling in the world when your face is dry as buds okay so I'll set that and where is oh <laughs> oops so for my blush I'm gonna use the pure palette or per um, midnight masquerade palette so then what I'm gonna do for piglet is grab one of these things and just yeah that's professional just apply some nice rosy cheeks I like to puff up my cheeks when I do it Right, and then just to define it a little more, I'm gonna take my Kat Von D brush and use the bronzer. Also on the Pure Palette, they have enchantment here, and I'm just going to use it on my cheeks to sort of bring out that like definition in my contour and on the top of my face. So that is that before I blend it. Another cute little feature that you can do with your blush, uh, I like to do for things like this, is just get your little nose all pink. Oh no. Oh, try not to get the bottom of your face, like I did. So yeah, you just dab your little nose, a little pink, without getting it all over the place. And you end up with this really cute sort of look there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is using my uh, Laura Lee and um, uh, Party Animal palette. I have a pink here that I'm going to use for my eyelids. Cause I'm gonna make Piglet, first of all, girl, and second of all, adorable. You can like see my lid because of no not really it doesn't really show you very well I have the worst lighting in all history set up so I am working on a ring light though Okay, so because I don't think that that is pink enough, I'm going to then add Becca, it's a blush, in Snapdragon to the rest of my lid, just in the crease area, and see what I get, I guess. <laughs> So I added that to my top lid. I look like a little piggy clown right now. Something that I noticed about Piglet that I hadn't noticed before is that Piglet actually has dark eyebrows, which is perfect because my auburn hair is darker than pink. So I'm gonna do dark eyebrows still, not pink eyebrows. 
And for my eyebrows, this palette here. I do this because I have auburn hair and I haven't found a pencil that works as well as my palette. So there's my eyebrows, pretty cute I think, I think. <laughs> yeah, so all I have left to do I guess is like the lips and my mascara. Let me just, this is my makeup bag by the way. That is pretty cute. Got it in Japan. Gosh, I miss Japan. So for my lips, I'm gonna do... I don't really have a lot of pink, okay? I'm gonna try this red lip combo. How to tell if Bella's never used something before. She tries opening it on camera using her teeth. Woo, opened it. Okay, so I don't really have a pink, so I'm gonna do one of my little combo lip things. So right now I have... Um, Sephora collection lip liner. I'm just gonna Aunt Itchy and it put it all over my lip. So you start off with the red lip, and I am going to use this um, Tartiest Tarte Paint from Tarte, <laughs> and I'm just going to put it over top of the red, and hopefully I'll get like a nice color. So this is what I get for my lips. It's kind of a pink red look and I think it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna go with it. So last but not least, I'm gonna do my mascara using the Superhero It IT or It brand. I don't know how to say it because I, I only got it in a package, so. I make like the most attractive faces like that when I'm Putting on makeup. So good. So yeah, I think that's pretty much my piglet. I think it's adorable. I love it. Guess what I just found? I just found a pink. A pink lip gloss. It is by Hank and Henry. And it wasn't in my normal setup. Oh, that's so funny. I used this Hank and Henry that I just found and I got the exact same color I already had. I'm so good. Just toot my own horn. <laughs> Cause that, that was surprising. Okay. So that is how I do my makeup. I'll like throw my whole costume on and show you what it looks like and yeah. So this is my final look. I got Piglet's green scarf. 
He also has a red one and a blue one and a purple one, but I like the green one. So this is my look and my finished makeup. <laughs>